Hello, it's Thinker2112 again. Uh, normally I don't record two days in a row, but I am. And this is Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. So, forgot to close my door there. Anyway, yeah, I just want to make sure there are enough uh, videos to last through Thanksgiving break because I don't feel like bringing my Wii home just for like three or four days. Um, so I noticed the mic hasn't been picking me up that well, so I'm just sitting a little closer this time. Maybe it'll be, uh, hopefully it won't be too loud. Um, anyway, so all I did between videos, between this one and the last one, was I flew over to the cliffside site. Samus, we have discovered a Federation landing site on Rio. You may be able to use this facility to upgrade your ship. We are sending the coordinates to you now. And you guess it, that's where I'm heading right now. And for some reason, the map doesn't seem to cover this. Maybe because they just discovered it. You'd think the Federation would, like, know where their landing sites were. Um, oh well. Alright, so... There could be some new enemies around here. Uh, here's another, uh, zapper that I can pull apart. So yeah, um, if you're watching this, it's already the day after Thanksgiving. So, hope you had a good holiday. I certainly enjoy the chance to get away from the city for a little while. Like I could get away from these guys, I wish. Anyway, get away from the city for a little while. Have some real food. Don't really have the time or the money to uh, take real food here. Wow. I don't want to play Frisbee. But you do, apparently. I could freeze him, but I've already been shooting him up now. And yeah, that took away a lot of energy. Oh, more annoying little... Uh, I thought this wasn't supposed to be a hard part, but I'd better be more careful. Highest difficulty level again. And there is a missile expansion here that I could not get before, but now I can get it. After I kill these dudes. Not quite sure why I couldn't get this missile expansion before. I'm just following what the player's guide tells me it's probably right. So, this involves a morph ball puzzle. I guess it's supposed to app. That, okay, I'm not being very smart here. Okay, maybe I just couldn't go this way before or something. And I have to... Crap, I have to get up there? With that thing probably about to crush me? Gonna, oh, yeah, I knew it was going to come down as soon as I started trying that. Yeah, not quite. That was even not. Uh, this could take a few tries. I have to become more skillful in the way the video editing and, you know, figure out how to edit stuff out when I fail too much. Hasn't happened quite yet, but eh, it's coming sooner or later, I know. Oh, come on! Don't have the timing down like I did in Metroid Prime 1. Uh, come on! And I have to wait for this stupid electrical thingy to come down. Can I just, like, blow it up or something? That's how we solve our problems in video games. And I'm getting worse and worse at this. I do not remember this being so hard. Then again, everything seems to be harder for me than it was before. Even the things that shouldn't have been affected 
by my, you know, choosing a higher difficulty level. Double bomb jumping isn't supposed to be harder on Hyper Mode. It just, you know, like, fight. Uh, I know this is boring to watch. Unless you're just laughing at me. Come on. Maybe I'm just like camera shy. Come on, I can at least get close before. And I almost bombed myself right into that thing. Okay, there was something... I I'm, I'm doing even worse than before. What am I doing wrong? Come on, come down. I know you want to come down. It's like blowing up right where I am, yet it's still not... Yes! I got it! Okay, that took long enough. <laughs> Alright. Before I get exact there. And finally I get up here and my Wii Remote locks up. Uh, I think some of the screw-ups may happen because I'm, like, sitting too close. I think, like, I can't get much closer and still have this thing function correctly. Alright, that was entirely too much trouble for one missile expansion. But, I'm going for 100%, so gotta get everything. Yeah, anyway, I thought my Wii Remote was broken when I uh, got here and, you know, set up my TV and stuff. And then I went on the Nintendo site and it said, you know, like, be at least three feet away when you're using it or something like that. I'm like, well, glad I checked the site so I didn't, like, you know, go get a new sensor bar or something. That's what I thought was broken, the sensor bar. So, if I tried to go here before, I wouldn't have gotten very far. Because I wouldn't have been able to get past this part. But now with ice missiles, I can. Oh yes, one of these guys. These guys appear in various sizes and for various purposes. Usually they'll move or bust something. And, yep, we'll drop me way down here. That wall is very shiny. Those of you who have uh, played Metroid Prime 2 will know what shiny walls mean and we'll know why I can't use them yet. Alright. Oh yeah, here's another big golem. Ah, uh, Warp Hound. Oh wait, I have Ice Missiles now. That makes them a bit easier to deal with. Of course I have to hit him. Or at least I thought it made them easier to deal with. This one's just evading. It keeps appearing right behind me. Uh, you can't tell when they're frozen completely. Oh wait, now he is. Okay, you can tell, but it takes quite a few missiles sometimes. Oh, there's another one. Maybe that's why they keep appearing right behind me, because there's more than one. And he still warps away after I hit him with all those missiles. Uh, don't warp. You're not listening to me, are you? They do weird stuff on the radar, too. It's like, even when they're there, they don't always show up. Shozo ghosts would just, like, you know, zip from one place to another. They wouldn't, you know, disappear and then reappear. Oh, I guess I have to kill those guys. 